Anton is 85 years old, but he's a dab hand on Facebook, thanks to Yurian, who's four times younger than him. Yurian lives with Anton in this care home in Deventer in the eastern Netherlands. It's part of a unique project run by Humanitas. Yurian gets free lodgings in return for 30 hours of work a month, and today he's teaching about the internet. He's a good teacher. He does it well. I'm confident doing a number of things, but he has some great tips. I read the paper, play games, check and send emails. With rent soaring, it's a financially viable solution which brings young and old people together. There are five other students, like Urian, working with the home's 160 residents. With no curfew for the students, they can come and go as they please. I came home late once and made quite a lot of noise closing the door, which woke my neighbour up. But you know, it only happened once. I don't do it all the time. Like any good neighbour, I apologised and it's never happened again. The students don't replace professional carers, but rather bolster the existing workforce. They prepare dinner, organise workshops, chat with residents and do the shopping. The student has a very different relationship with the elderly people here compared with professional carers. It's an extra person who looks out for people and can quickly recognise if something is not okay, if someone needs more attention. The idea has resonated in a country where many people do voluntary work, and other retirement homes are reportedly coming up with their own variations on the theme. I work from the principle that when you're 96 years old with a knee problem, well, the knee isn't going to get any better. The doctors can't do much, but what we can do is create an environment where you forget about the painful knee. With the UN forecasting that by 2050 more than 20% of the world's population will be over 60, there's more need than ever to bridge the generation gap.